Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again. As always, I always appreciate you being here. So outside today, early in the wood yard, uh, got some wood yard chores to do. It is that time of year. Still got this trailer loaded down with oak and maple here behind me. But first off, we got a little package in the mail and I have been excited to do this for quite some time. Just haven't had the time to get to it. It is an upgrade for the Lamar dump trailer. So I'm gonna get up here, get set up, and show you something that I think every dump trailer ought to have. And we're gonna do a real quick install because it is firewood season and uh, we're gonna be using that dump trailer a whole lot more. So stick with us. We're gonna get up here and get this thing opened up, show you what we got. All right, everybody, those of you that have been with me for a while on the channel and have been following along know that about one year ago to this point right now, I purchased this Lamar 7x14 trailer. The purpose of this is not to go into details, but I'll just give a real quick walk around to show you after one year what the fit and finish is looking like on it here. And I did do a six month of ownership video on it to kind of do the same thing for those of you out there looking for a trailer, contemplating like I was back and forth, what brand to get. I have been so pleased with this trailer so far. That's a look at the inside. I was just adding it up earlier, Evan and I, and I've hauled at least 80 plus tons of rock in this trailer, as well as all the firewood. Probably most of it you see here in the wood yard. So, very pleased. There is one thing in this box right here that's gonna make me like it even more, and that's what we're gonna get to. So, uh, oh, a while back, probably seven, eight months ago, I had a lady from Lamar reach out to me, said she had seen some of our videos that we had tagged Lamar in, and she enjoyed them and wanted to know if I could, uh, if she would be able to send me a box of merch in appreciation. And I said, well, yeah, send that right on over. So she sent Evan and I both some merch just for simply uh, tagging Lamar. So uh, she also, after sending the merch, reached out and asked if there was anything about my trailer that I would change or anything that I thought they could do differently after using it for a while. And I told her, uh, really... I love the trailer. There's really no complaints. I said, if I'm going to get very, very picky, it would be probably a longer power cord to run the trailer up and down or simply a wireless remote. And she replied and said, Lamar offered both of those from factory, but it would have had to have been an option that your particular dealer would have had to order it that way. So without any more yapping that's what we're going to get to right now so let's get to it so all right uh like i said after uh owning the trailer for a while i really wanted to get some sort of a remote system that way i would not have to drag this cord in and out every time i had a load of wood or rock on it now i did talk to a lot of people you guys have seen other channels ordering wireless remotes and i did that 20 bucks off of amazon this is the uh water witch this is more of a like a uh, uh a winch operation and you can see it's been laying right here in this trailer for probably seven months now now the reason it's still laying there is my Lamar came equipped with a power up, a power down, and also a gravity down. Now, with all the videos I had watched about trying to install this, I was really nervous about compromising my pump. And if that cheap uh, remote was gonna work. And what I found out from numerous videos was it was not because of this gravity down it would not operate this pump correctly so like i said earlier got a package here 
that I think is going to solve all of that. I reached back out to the same lady that uh, had sent me a box of merch and asked her if she had any kind of direction or who I could talk to at Lamar because I really wanted to get what Lamar used on these pumps because I didn't want to burn up my pump or you know compromise the trailer at all and she led me in the right direction and I got this sent out to me this is the KT I incorporated wireless remote system it is a plug-and-play system which is important to me because I am NOT good with hydraulics so it comes with your system you simply unplug we're gonna get to that it's got a little wireless remote this is also Bluetooth capable and it comes with a couple antennas which will have to mount on the outside so we're going to get this installed and I want to thank them again for leading me in the right direction. And guys, I'm going to put a link to Lamar's uh, YouTube channel. This is absolutely not going to be a how-to video because we're going to learn as we go, both of us here. It does not look that complicated, but we're going to get it installed. For further information on Lamar and their products, these guys got a pretty nice website or a pretty nice YouTube channel as far as a website. YouTube channel, you can go check out the trailers in action. It's kind of what I did, and it influenced the purchase of this trailer right here. So let's see if we can get this put in. Like I said, a couple uh looks like two antennas. And here is the actual receiver part of it. Looks like it comes with, uh, yep, it's got uh, Velcro on the back of it. Let's see if we got some instructions in here. Yes, we do. And this. Looks like it's simple enough. This is your wireless receiver. Got to connect the red to the positive side of the battery, the black to the negative. Disconnect the handheld remote, which is this, and you can see they come unscrewed here. And it unscrews again down here. I'll move the camera in closer. And basically we're going to plug this in in place in the middle of that and this receiver is going to control it and my handheld one will also work as well so let me bring the camera in closer and we'll get to uh installing this somewhere inside of the power box here so let's move the camera on up all right everybody so this is the inside of my box here on the front of the mar what makes it great is it's got a storage compartment for your straps cables any tools you need to carry and it leaves the back divider keeps all that away from your pump and your battery which is pretty cool so i think we're going to mount this receiver somewhere here in the back wall it'll stay in and stay protected and the great thing about this is this is the kti receiver like i said that is a kti pump made in the usa that lamar uses right there so this is why I was lucky to reach back out and get the right thing sent out. I know it's not going to compromise, so we're going to hook the, I've already got these loosened up. We're going to put the color-coded wires underneath the battery and find a spot for this. And I know some of you out there have trailers and you got away with uh like like i said this 20 dollar like witch remote system wireless remote but i just simply can't do it and if anybody that's around me enough knows me i don't like uh i don't like messing with the integrity of something that i spent a lot of money for so i want to make sure that this is going to work and not to uh, mess anything up so let's see can we reach we go here. 
How's that in, in the frame there, Evan? Can you see that? Evan's over here helping me. Yep. So that'll reach there, and then we can come off of this with the power cord. So I think there is our spot right there. And I didn't want to be splicing a bunch of wires and stuff and, uh, you know, have that to worry about later on. So this is just an all-around best way to do it. And I'm not sure on the price of this right now off the top of my head. I have had it a while. Um, I'll have to look that back up and let you all know that. It's still going to reach. Okay. I'm going to stick it right there. Okay. Unhook the uh, power cord coming off the pump. It's pretty simple. There's only one way it can plug in. As you know, this is different than that. And the other end of this uh, new KTI system has the same plug. So not really any way you can mess it up. And it's even got a little uh, knob on it in there. It only goes in one way, so pretty simple, and that's what I need. That'll stay down there and stay protected. And then you take your other side coming off of your transmitter here. Probably calling it the wrong thing already. And plug it in to your handheld. That way that still works. So let me snug these down so they make connection. First thing I'm going to do is see if my corded remote still works. Yes, it does. Now there is a power switch on this, but I still have to run these two antennas. I know my corded one still works, so it's going through. So these little antennas, you're supposed to mount on the outside of your box. That way your uh, key fob will reach it. I think it said in the instructions up to 30 feet away. That is, that is nice. Those are magnetic. So no dealing with Velcro or anything. So I can literally stick these anywhere. And if I have to be farther away from the trailer, I can pull out on the cord and actually put it up top if I have to. I don't think we're doing that. I think I'm gonna stick them actually right behind the cargo box and the pump box here on the trailer. That way they're out of the way. The trailer can function up and down. And actually there is a hole underneath. So nothing's gonna be dangling. I'm gonna go down and come right up through. The weep holes in the bottom of this box if there gets water in there kind of hard to get in here and show you all that all right so guys I've pulled the antenna wire back up through the hole in the bottom and like I said this is a little mess right now but this has got a silver end on it and then the other little antenna has got a gold end on it I don't know if the camera's picking that up and that's also color coded here So I'm just going to screw that in. Just like that. Might even use these twisty ties to just keep it all nice and neat. But that, like I said, that's a good thing about having this divider in these uh, 
boxes on the front of these Lamars. It's a great idea. It keeps all your important wiring and pumps and hydraulics in the back and it doesn't get beat up. A little bit more. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. Come across over here. I'm thinking I'm going to go underneath. Keep them all down low. All right, and like I said, I'll clean all this wiring up and zip tie it all together. Probably put it behind the battery box. All right, so we've got two antennas hooked up. Very simple. You've seen me unplug from the pump with the handheld power cord and plug that end of the transmitter on the wireless one end and the other end right here. There is a power button you see that green light flash in there evan is that in frame yes it is that is showing us that we have power to the system so now you have the remote over there let me see if the handheld works bring the uh Okay, let's see if the, I don't know if there's any batteries. Is there a power button? It's showing red or blue, so we'll hit this. That must be the down. I'm holding it upside down. Power up, power down. Well, that's awesome. And it's even got a protector that you can slide over, hold it in your pocket. Awesome. Now we need to test it from a little bit of a range. So let's back up and see if it'll hit it from out there. Here is the remote. Hopefully that focuses. And now that I've figured the remote out, like I said, we're learning together here. The left side is your up, and this side over here is the down. I'm not sure what the little square. As long as your keychain is pointing down. Yes, <laughs> keep your keys hanging down, which I will not have keys on here, and I will know. So let's walk out in the yard and see if how far away I could get this to work. I'm about 20 yards away, right? 25. It's probably about 30, 35. He's getting back there to about 40, 45 yards now. That's a lot farther than it said in the manual, I think. He's about 50 yards away right now. I like it. What I had to bend. You you were 60, 70 yards away. Yeah, at least 70 yards away. And it's it does say on here for Bluetooth. Now, like I said before, and after reading this and looking at the instructions here a little bit, the gold 
the gold antenna that we stuck over there, we really don't need that on there unless we're gonna use Bluetooth. The silver ended one here, that's little antenna that's right here, that's for the wireless remote. So let's get this all buttoned back up and uh, we'll show you what it looks like after we've got it all put back together. All right, everybody. So installation is complete and uh, very, very simple. Harder moving the camera around to get the right angle. But there is the new wireless receiver install. And like I said before, I'll bring you in close. There's two different color codes. The gold one goes to the antenna. That is for your Bluetooth if you're gonna hook it to your phone. The silver one is the only one you'll need to go to the antenna to use the key fob. And as you can see here on the back, let me shut this down. You can see that two antennas are stuck right on the back and they're just magnetic. So pretty simple there, no drilling holes or anything. Open this back up. And like I said, plug and play, simple. The longer lead goes over to your pump coming out of here and then the shorter one comes down and hooks right in to your handheld wired remote there. Both still work. And as you've seen that light flashing on here, there is a power button in here. I think that might be a little easier to turn on and off. You see it blinking there? There's no reason to leave that on and draw from the battery so i will it's up and down so i'll shut that off and then when you're getting ready to use it you flip that on and you got wireless capabilities so this was the kti kwr-005 all right then it's right here there's the kti's information website and everything. I'll pause on that for a minute and let you grab that information. And I'll also try to put that in the link below in the description. So, all right, installation is complete. And I do believe I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I have a pile of splits over there to stack. And if you've all been following along, we have yet to split any of that maple from the tree in the backyard. So we're gonna jump on that today, but uh, I will put uh, KTI's website information in the description below, as well as Lamar, their website, and also their YouTube channel in the description. And that being said, guys, I am by no means affiliated with either of these companies. They are not sponsoring me. Uh, I'm just very happy with the product, so that's what this is all about, passing it on. And I will say, learn from my experience. If you're out there like I was a year ago, searching for trailers, watching YouTube channels and webs and looking at websites, trying to figure out what trailer you want, if you decide on one, all I can say about this Lamar is I've been very pleased and very, very happy. If you're going to order one, you may want to ask your dealer to have that installed and get it into the price. This little wireless Bluetooth remote from KTI, you're looking at close to $300 there. So order it with it on there because be less, less bite all at once. Uh, if it's on there, it's done. Although it was a very easy install, uh, it'd just been better if it was on there. So, uh, But I do know now that that will not compromise or work against that pump. So... I did the right thing, and that's going to be worth every penny from having to get in and out of that truck with dragging that uh, corded remote along. So, appreciate you guys being here. And as always, until next time, get outside. We'll see you.